hi guys welcome back to my channel um if you've been here before that is if not welcome welcome and this is what we're going to be making today so we're going to be making a beautiful blanket the size that i've made here is for a baby blanket um i will pop all down below all the information you need to know about what kind of sizes how much to chain or how many to chain sorry um and what kind of um stitches we're doing as well i've also got a written pattern which is available over on my website for free so if you want to check that out you'll find the link for that down below as well as if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit that bell button and subscribe button um, so you get notified every time i pop up a video for you so stylecraft my favorite around yarn um, it's beautifully soft and i love it so we're going to start off by making a slip knot if you are a beginner have a look at my channel i've got a couple of different videos on there about how to make slip knots magic rings how to chain how to do single crochets and all the rest of that as well so always handy to look on there before going through any of the other videos um so we're going to make a chain it's going to be a multiple of three plus two so you're going to chain up um, as many multiples of three as you'd like um, and then you're going to add two chains on the end so i'm going to chain up just for this tutorial 30 um, and then plus two so 32 if you're making a baby blanket you chain around 126 i believe but i will pop all the details for you below so i'm going to chain 32 Is my chain obviously if you watch my videos before you'll know i don't like working into these um chains like this i prefer turning it and working into those back lumps there the little back loops so you've got your chain like this with the v's i turn it on the side and work into those little bumps there okay so i'm going to turn mine i'm going to put two half double crochets in the second chain from the hook so you've got your first and then your second you turn it you can see the little bump there so two half double crochets into that little chain there. One, and two. We're then going to skip two chains and put into the third one a single crochet and two half double crochets. So skip two, single crochet, and then two half double crochets. And you're just going to repeat that all the way down so skip two single crochet half and then two half double crochets skip two single crochet two half double crochets and i will meet you when you've only got three left on your chain okay so now we've got just the three chains left here one two and three we're going to skip those two chains and we're going to work just one single crochet into that last chain so pop you again make your single crochet and then we're going to chain up one we're going to turn our work, be two half double crochets into this first stitch. One and two. We're going to skip two stitches and we're going to put a single crochet and two half double crochets into that stitch there. So same all the way along, you're going to skip two stitches and work into where the single crochet is from the last row. When you get to the end, you'll work into this one here and you'll have two stitches left. You're just going to skip one stitch, put a single crochet into that next stitch, and you're going to repeat that for six rows in total, and then you're going to switch your color. So now we've got to row six, we're going to change our color. So I'm going to grab my pale rose yarn. What we're going to do to attach it is we're going to go into that second stitch, as we usually would, yarn over bring it through and we're not going to complete that single crochet we're just going to snip our yarn just like so then instead of completing it with the cream we're going to grab our pink we're going to pull that through just like so and then carefully we're going to grab those two ends and we're just going to tie a knot. Now I prefer doing it this way because it's more secure. However, if you prefer changing colors a different way, that is completely up to you. Now I'm going to grab these two tail ends and I'm going to fold them over through the middle. So we've got our hook one side, our working yarn the other side, and we're gonna put that 
through the middle of those two so it's lying on those stitches. I'm then going to chain one, turn the work, and work the row as usual, but working over the tail end so that it's weaved in. So into this stitch here, we're going to work our two half double crochets. Just like that. And now that's nice and snug in there. Then we're going to work our stitches as usual. So single crochet, two half double crochets. You can then go back and weave in these ends again. I prefer using a very sharp needle, yarn needle, so it's got enough room to get the yarn into the needle head, but it's also sharp so I can cut through the fibres and weave it in through the fibres rather than around stitches, because that way it just kind of stays into the yarn a bit more. So let me just show you with one of these. So as you can see, you can go with a sharp needle, you can go through the yarn and therefore it kind of intertwines a little bit better rather than going through a stitch with a blunt needle. So I'm just going to weave that through a few times. Just like that. And then you can cut that and it's not going to go anywhere. And then do the same with the pink. And as you can see, it's got a nice edge as well. So I don't like putting borders on these. I think they're really pretty just as they are. But you can always put a border on if you want to. But that is how you work up this lovely blanket. This is just a little sample for you guys. Um, and as you can see with my other blanket, it works up absolutely beautifully. And it is wonderful as a gift. Or even for your own little bubba. I get bored quite quickly um, with projects and I know a lot of you guys do as well and therefore you have lots of whips around the place. Um, so this project is fantastic for people who get bored, you're changing colours quite frequently and therefore you know you're not getting as bored um, but also it's handy to do when you're watching a programme as well because I love to watch programmes while I crochet and feel like I'm doing something um, while I'm being cheeky and just watching TV. So great project guys if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up pop your comments below as well for me if you've got any questions um let me know what your favorite yarn is to use with your projects especially baby blankets um, and i will see you guys in the next one bye for now